Hey guys, today I'm going to show you how to deploy the SuperAgent API or backend using Replit Autoscale. So I want to give a big shout out to the Replit team for helping us setting all of this up. And I'm going to show you exactly how it's done. So let's dig right in, right? First thing we need to do is to actually connect our GitHub account to Replit. And also we would need to fork the SuperAgent repository from GitHub into our own account. So go ahead and fork this and make sure that you read the tutorials on how to set up a database because we will be needing that. And I use Supabase for databases because it's just awesome. There's nothing more to say about that, but you can use Neon database or whatever uh, provider you want that is supported by Prisma, which is the ORM that we are using. Also make sure to read the uh, run on Replit uh, link in the readme because we will be using a lot of uh, the things here, of course. So let's go ahead and make it happen. Create a repo and let's press import from GitHub and then press super agent, which will be in your own repository. And then also use Python as the language and then press import GitHub, import from GitHub. So this will be importing and what we need to do is to actually um, replace this replit file that you see here when everything is loaded. And after that, we need to set our um, environment variables or secrets as they call it in replit. Right now we have zero secrets, so we will need to fix that. But let's start with replacing this first. And the way we do that is to go to the super agent um, repository in the readme and then just copy this file and then go back to replit and then mark all of this and paste that in. Save. Perfect. Next step is to actually add the environment variables or secrets. You can add them one by one or you can edit them as a JSON. And that's what I will do. So as you see, I have just pasted in all of the environment variables that are necessary and just followed the tutorial on the readme. So that's how we want to do it. Now we can test this by uh, pressing the run button and that will spin up an instance of Replit and, and we can see if it works. And afterwards we will deploy it using the Replit autoscale. So let's try to run this first. All right, cool. So the service is booting and we have a URL here that we can use to access um, the application when it's finished booting. So let's copy that and see if it's finished. It doesn't seem to be finished. Yeah, well, it is finished. Perfect. So here we have the super agent API slash backend running on um, Replit. So next step is to actually deploy this, of course. So what we'll do is to press deploy and then we'll choose the auto scale because that's the most convenient one. And you can always edit like how much compute and RAM and stuff you want and machines and etc. But I'll just go ahead with the, you know, uh, basic configuration and also make sure you have all of these set. Otherwise it won't work. So you have to set all of the secrets, environment variables, etc. Now let's go ahead and deploy this. This might also take some time. So let's press. There we go. We have a super agent API deployed on a Replit auto scale. And if we go to this URL, we should see the swagger documentation. Boom. There we go. Now, one interesting thing is that you can actually use this URL with our Python SDK or TypeScript SDK. So you can just go to the repositories that we have and, you know, um, go to the super agent Python repository or the SDK repository. And you'll see that there is a base URL here. 
And we can actually add the Replit Autoscale URL here and use this in our applications. So that's how we can deploy SuperAgent API to Replit with a couple of clicks. Amazing. Big shout out to Replit. Big shout out to Superbase for making everything run smoothly. Thank you. Until next time. Bye.